What's up guys, my name is ESO and welcome back to the channel. In today's episode we are doing a secret stealth mission to sneak into Townburg. We can see the castle just over there. I have no idea how I'm meant to be getting into this castle night raid. Now guys, before we actually do this, I just want to quickly run over to Vranik and quickly check if we can actually sneak into the camp and see if we can pillage any of these dead bodies. Oh, a carcass on the road. Just a moment, guys. Just a moment. A carcass? Oh, I appear to be in a... Okay. It seems we found a dead body and there is a windmill in the river. Interesting. Let's explore that in a moment. Villager. How did you die? She has one groschen, a single Who? carrot. What the? What are you doing, you murderer? What the hell? What are you talking about? What on earth are you talking about? I saw you robbing the corpse. I was examining the crime scene. Yeah, I could do this. Oh, what? This random peasant, this trader has more authority than I do. I was looking at the wounds. I was looking for signs of life. To see if I could help. Ah. And could you? Unfortunately not anymore. All right. I suppose you're not the guilty one after all. I'm glad you saw sense. And what exactly are you doing here? And what exactly were you doing here anyway? What are you getting at? Well, you <laughs> admit it. It would be easier. You're carrying the murder weapon, is he? It'll be easier for you if you confess. Success, but nothing happened. Okay, that I think that's a bug. You're carrying the murder weapon. You're carrying the murder weapon. You won't prove it's a murder weapon, but I prove I know how to use it. Oh, so he did do it. I think I should go and report you. Now listen to me. Your word isn't worth a turd, and I'm sure they know it. <laughs> I know what happened. I won't leave criminals to roam the roads. Oh, really? I tell you. If you try and pin something on me I haven't done, the whole fucking province will get to hear of it. I'm sure you committed the murder. You're the killer. You can't go flinging around accusations against honest folk. I'm going to the town to report you. You see if I don't. Oh god, is he really? Hey! Oh my god, what? Where's my horse? Pebbles, come quickly. You've got to kill this random villager. He definitely killed her. He's running down the river like an absolute spasm. Where has he gone? I have no idea where he went. He just yeah. vanished. Right guys, we are almost in Vranik. I'm very interested to see how many people are actually still hanging around. If we find any people looting corpses or what. Okay, so here we are. There's no real remnants of a battle actually taking place here, to be honest. I mean, we did storm the castle pretty easily, but I expected more... Oh, one sec. Can we not get in? That's weird. Oh, look. Here's one of my arrows that I missed. I wonder if I can get around the secret exit. All right, here we go. Here's the exit. Can I actually get up here, though? Oh my god, it works! I just jumped in! So we're inside Rannick. I'm pretty sure we're not meant to be here. Wow, this guy... I'm pretty sure it was a person, but they're no longer lootable. I think they burnt down. So, is anyone... Oh my god, there's just dead bodies here. I don't think there's anyone left. I don't think you're even meant to be able to get in here. So there is literally nothing here at all. So here we are back at Townburg. You can actually see there's some burning coming from one of the towns over there. We haven't actually investigated why it's burning or what that might be. So I might go and have a look at that later. But right now I want to get on with this quest. I thought it was pretty cool actually because while we were looking around the village, I noticed there was this campsite just here. 
And there are actually soldiers here. I assume all the soldiers, you know, getting ready to take Townberg back. But um, if you actually look around, there's this rather exquisite tent just here. And it's got like this command center in with a map. Looks like the plans of Townberg, actually. Very, very lightly drawn, if that is them. And uh, there are a few chests around here. So obviously, in true thief-like fashion, I'm going to lockpick these chests. So let's lockpick this one. Find where the sweet spot is, just here. And then we're going to twist it around there. Keeping it in the sweet spot. And now what's inside? Oh, all of the food supplies. Okay. Honey, honey, honey. There must be something better in some of these other chests. The sweet spot is on the outside, makes it a bit harder. So we're going to reset that and try again. Aha, this is pretty close to the center, so it's going to be a lot easier. There we go, unlocked. Hunting boots, noble dark shoes. Pretty much worth stealing, really, isn't it, this stuff? It doesn't really weigh much, and it's worth a lot of gold. So it's always pretty good to steal stuff like that. And now we have the final chest. Now this one looks like there should be something really epic inside. That's not too bad. We'll go for this one. There we go. Unlocked. And rob this chest. Shield with Townberg crest. Some bows and an undershirt for a female in a soldier's camp. Interesting, to say the least. Well, uh, that was a lot more uneventful than I expected. But guys, the sun is setting. And we need to head over to Captain Bernard, who is in the quarry. Come, Pebbles. And I want to show you guys, actually, my outfit right here. This is the stealthiest outfit in the whole game, okay? We have visibility 17 and conspicuous 20 and a noise of zero. We're soundless. We're like a ninja, okay? No one can hear us at all. I will be doing a video explaining the stealth system in more detail, but right now I just thought, you know, you guys love watching the Let's Play, so here's some useful information. This is the best stealth armor set in the game. Tested everything out. This is the best thing you can get for stealth. The only way you can make your visibility stat better is by using leather boots, okay? These give 16 visibility and one noise. So you could actually argue that this is slightly better, but I'm not going to talk about it in this video. I'm going to move all this stuff into my horse for now. If you put on the coif, it doesn't actually make you any less visible. So there's no point in wearing a coo coif, a coof, <laughs> a coif, unless you want to wear it for protection. But it actually just increases your noise stat and doesn't do anything for you. Uh, rather strangely, I'm also going to bring some armor with me, which I can throw on if I think, okay, there's going to be a battle. I'm going to bring St. George's sword, the U longbow, and some piercing arrows so we can assassinate a few people. But apart from that and some potions, I think this is all I really need to bring. Okay, now let's go and ride over to... What the hell? Oh. It always confuses me that they've added this noise now when you, like, gallop with Henry. Listen. I mean, it's so annoying. He just randomly shouts when you get your horse to gallop, which I guess is more immersive, but at the same time, it really annoys me. Ooh! I'm riding my horse. Go faster. Ooh! That's what it sounds like. Anyway, let's go over to Captain Bernard and begin our stealth mission. It wasn't actually there in the start of the game, I don't think. Okay, I'm ready, sir. I've also got my inventory pretty much empty, so I can uh, sneak in and rob everything from Townberg. Here he is, chilling out in the darkness. Begin the night raid. I'm ready. Are you sure? You should wear lightweight black clothing. Anything you don't need, you can leave here. I don't want you clanking around in plate armor. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky. Yes, I'm ready. Yes, I'm ready to go. Looks like someone's beating the crap out of me, doesn't it? 
just survived this battle, and now we're going to carry on with the night raid. Here we go. Night raid. If any of you are having second thoughts, this is your last chance to speak. Very well. So I hope we're all clear on what has to be done. We need to free the hostages to deprive Toth of his advantage. Now he'll be keeping them somewhere where they can be guarded, but somewhere separate from his other men. And where would that be? We always kept our captives in the house on the bailey by the stables. Uh, what if they're in their tower or, or somewhere else? Then we'll have to go to the gate and try to open it. But that will take time and attract attention. So we can only do it if we know exactly how things stand. And if they sound the alarm, before we've done anything, we get out of there quick. Understood? Nope. And leave them there. Better a couple of hostages than a pile of corpses. Lord Capon, are you quite certain you want to engage in this action? Quite. After all, it can't be much different from sneaking out of the upper castle in Rate and back in every night. <laughs> Besides, who else will keep this hothead from raising bloody mayhem? Well, see to it that you do, my lord. May God guide our footsteps. Yeah, we got my good boy Capon coming on this mission with us. There are actually some cool side missions you can do with Lord Capon. Um, I'll link them down below in the description if you guys haven't seen them already, but it's pretty fun. Find Sir Radzig and Lady Stephanie. Let's do this. Oh, what? Okay. Oh my god, I just put my bloody torch away. <laughs> okay, we're good. This is cool, man. We're sneaking in with a giant ladder. There's clearly a guard there. You can see the torch. Oh, this is actually cool, man. We'll go first and take out the sentries. Wait here. No, I want to go with you. I thought it was just going to be a one-man mission. I was going to go on my own. What are they waiting for? What are they waiting for? How should I know? Why do I bother asking? Oh, be quiet and watch that light on the battlements. Stealth attack on the castle. There he goes. Fuck this waiting, I'm gonna climb. Stealth kill hands game game one. <laughs> Let's go up as well, man. Oh, okay. Am I gonna be the last one to climb? Am I even going on this stealth mission? Wait until the sentries are taken out. Objective completed. Okay. Scale the walls. Oh, this is cool, man. The ultimate raid in the moonlight. There's actually loads of us, man. I don't expect there to be so many people on this night mission. Okay, the sentry's dead then. Rip sentry. I'll put on his armor. And watch this side, but there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. T buffoon. Henry then. <laughs> Just make sure you keep quiet. Oh yes, I get to eliminate the guards at the gate. Just gonna watch him strip first because this is why everyone's really here. Oh yes, check that out, man. Okay, you can light the torch as well. Nothing's happened here. There's a dead body and you're standing on it. We should probably throw these bodies over the wall, really. I guess I could put this guy's armor on. But I'm not gonna, I'm gonna go do this stealthily. One sec, where is my quest marker? I should probably zoom in. It is in the castle. Fine lady, okay. Eliminate the guards at the gate, okay, cool. There's another guard just there. Okay, let's, let's run up on him now. Oh god, don't fail ESO. He could come around this corner any second. I have no idea. Okay, I think he might turn Oh, he's turning around, turning around. Okay, I'm just going to sit here. I got the perk Crouching Charmeleon. And I'm so conspicuous right now, I genuinely don't think he'll see me. Oh my god, he's coming, he's coming. Fuck. The alarm's been sounded. Oh no! No! <laughs> oh 
I think we failed. This guy's getting wrecked, though. Okay, now he's standing around. Great, great, great. Let's go and catch him up. We'll be able to take him out and catch up with him this time. Last time, he was about to turn around, so I was like, well, I can't really go back the other way. <laughs> okay, I can't see anyone else in front. Oh, there is one guard there. Nice, 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 nice. We can do this easily now. Oh, I knocked him out. Why did I knock him out? I should have stealth killed him. Drop body. For some reason it says that I'm in combat, but I know no one spotted me, so that's weird. Okay. He's coming downstairs. Shit, he is. He is. Oh my god! He's coming downstairs! No! Where am I meant to go? Get my bow out. Oh my god. Oh my god. How is this working? Goodbye. Drop body. Right, so we dealt with two guys. I should really kill this guy before he wakes up again. Because otherwise we're going to be screwed. So let me just shoot him in the head. There we go. Now he should be dead. I don't know. Is he dead? A genuine... I'm not sure. Is he dead? I think he is dead. I, it doesn't say he's dead. It's slightly worrying that. Right, let me get my bow out again and we'll work our way up to the battlements. It said there was two guys, but honestly, there could be more. We have no idea. I was about to appreciate the view just there. Probably not the good thing to do when you're... Oh, I'm in a private area. Okay, great. This is a hard chest. I'm really tempted to lockpick it, though. Oh, all this stuff's respawned that we originally stole earlier in the game. Actually, one sec. Let me just quickly get these arrows. Don't really want the hunting arrows. They're going to be a bit pointless. There are some arrows just here as well, so we might as well... Oh, no, no. There's none in here. That's annoying. Oh, is there anyone here? Oh, my God, there's a guy just there. Literally outside the door right now. There's just two guys standing in the exact same place. Oh my god. Okay, let's try this. Fuck. The alarm's been sounded. For sake. Get wrecked, mate. Am I just gonna kill all these guys or what? None of them are actually attacking me. This is interesting. Uh, I'll find you, you cur. You can't hide from me. Okay, he's found me. <laughs> I've been spotted. Somehow this is working. There's a guy coming down the ladder here. Oh, get wrecked, son. I'm just going to kill all the bandits here. Oh, get wrecked. He just tanked that to the face. Oh my god, what the hell? There are so many people. Okay, it's getting a bit hairy now. I'm actually killing all of these bandits as they come down. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> no! No, don't kill me. No! No, they're gonna kill me. There's so many of them. I need a bloody grenade or something. Right, guys, so I thought I'd start the mission again, and... What's that? <laughs> Bandits. Why did he grab the body and drop it on the other side of the battlements? And watch this side, but there are still two guards on the portcullis winch to deal with. Any volunteers? Henry will do it. <laughs> what? Is he going to get dressed in the armor now? There's no armor there, mate. Oh, okay, it's just scripted. That's funny. <laughs> I thought he'd be, like, absolutely screwed. Ready to be assassinated. Boom. The other guard just turned around in time, so I think we're good there. Get wrecked, son. Okay, this is going to be the hard part. I am tempted to put this guy's armor on, but I'm not going to do that. What we want to do is drop down and wait until these two guards move so they're looking over the battlements. Then I think at that point, I'll be able to sneakily get past them. But until that guard turns around, 
on the left here. I think it's going to be impossible. <laughs> I can't kill him without the other guy noticing. That is... There's no chance. I got like level 14 sneak, I think. So even if it was higher, I doubt it. Okay, there he goes, there he goes, there he goes. Right, now let's sneak down here. Oh, okay, there's a guard just there. Where's he going? Is he coming down here? He is. Oh my god, oh my god. There's two guys here. Oh my god. My visibility stat is so good. Right, let's see if we can sneak around him before the other guy comes down the stairs. I don't want to kill him in the middle of the courtyard. That would be a bad idea. Oh my god, I can see someone's face. Hello! Oh, one sec, he's not a shit. Jesus, how do I get in here? How do I get inside? Oh my god! There's a guy right there. Oh my days, okay. And for some reason I still can't open that door. I don't know why. Am I meant to go somewhere else? Let's try going into the kitchen. You can't go in here either. I don't really understand. There's a guy coming down the battlements there though. Let's just sit here and wait until this guard walks past and the other guy turns around on the stairs. Oh my god, he walks so close to me. How did he not see me? Maybe I can kill him now? When that guard turns around. Right there, 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 there. Maybe I can just kill him right now. Fuck. What? Oh my god! Fucking eyes in the back of his head. Okay, right. See, the other guard's walking up there. He can't actually see me right now, okay? He still can't see. He still can't see. I'm walking right next to so him. I'm going to wait until he definitely can't see me. There's only two guards in this courtyard. He can't see this, okay? He can't see me knocking out, for sure. Drop the body. Drop the body. Drop the body. Pressing. Drop the body. Oh my god. Does he have a key? No, he doesn't have a key. What I'm going to do is wait for this guy to stop standing at the bottom of the stairs there. And I'm going to sneak up. Okay, now he's walking up the stairs. Should be able to sneak up behind him. Can I open this door? No. Can I go left? This door I can't open either. Right, assassinated. And drop his body down. Do you have a key? You don't have a key either. There's another bandit just over there I can see. I have no idea what his route is. I need to be very careful because I can't see into that door there. Okay, he's walking back now. Is there a door here or can I walk in? Oh my god. I'm just going to wait for the bandit to hopefully be walking back. There he is, there he is, oh my god! He can't see me. He actually can't see me. Holy crap, okay. Let's assassinate him. Quick, 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 quick. I need to catch up. Got him, got him. Nice, nice. This is good. This is good. This is going well. I literally... Maybe they're upstairs in the tower. Got seven Groshen. Oh, this sword's really good. I'm going to take that with me. Thank you, bro. That other bandit is still knocked out on the floor there. Okay, one sec. Very quickly... Okay, there's no one here. I'm gonna have to use this ladder, but I literally can't see anything. Oh, no, no, one sec, one sec, one sec, guys. I have a potion here 
that allows you to see in the dark. Eat. Okay, I've eaten the Nighthawk potion. Okay, increases the the gamma setting. So now I can kind of see in the dark. Is there anyone sleeping up here? Can't see a thing still, I'm not going to lie. That hasn't helped at all. Oh, everything's so bright and contrasty now. I'm just going to unlock this anyway for the sake of it. What's inside here? Yeah, just some armor. So there's no hostages up here. Maybe downstairs, if I go down. Like, all the way down. To the basements. That's the only other place it can be. I can't open any other doors, can I? Just a naked bandit there. They're not even down here. Where are they? That guard is still knocked out. It's like almost daytime now. One thing I do want to do is kill this bandit right here. <gasps> what? Oh my god. The arm! Get over here! Oh my god, they've discovered the body and loads of bandits just came out over of that room. Wow, there are so Quiet. many. They're all going upstairs. Hey, all of you gather here! Raise the alarm! Over here! There's so many! Hello. I'm just gonna try and sneak over here quickly. Raise the alarm! Watch out! Has anyone spotted me? No, no one spotted me. Can I get in here? Look, I can see there are like people in there. There are so many bandits in here. Oh my god! What the hell? A lady just ran out of this room! You guys see that? Can I talk to these people? Stealth. There are villagers in here. What the hell is going on? I can't talk to these- oh, one sec. I can't talk to these guys or anything. Okay. <laughs> He's got five Groshen on him. <laughs> so all I'm doing is killing the hostages. And they're not reacting at all. They don't care. They just couldn't care less. Okay, so we've solved the hostage problem. Now what? He can't have gone on far. He's standing. Oh, God! Someone almost came in the room. Let's try and shoot this guy in the head, see what happens. Oh, get wrecked! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Raise the alarm! Somebody has been shot in the head with an arrow again! Quickly, somebody do something about it. Oh, God! The alarm's been sounded. Look out! A man has spotted me! Praise the gods! Where is he? Oh! Oh god! Run, peasants! There are so many people! Ah! Oh! Jesus Christ! Look how many bandits there are, man! There's so many! Get wrecked, son! Oh! Destroyed! Oh, look, there's a bandit! Wow! Hello! Get wrecked, mate! Mercy kill? Okay, get wrecked, son. So I'm pretty sure I've killed all the bandits in the castle now. None of them have a key at all. I can't open this stupid lock. Everything else is empty. There's no one here at all. So I don't really know. I can't open this one either for some reason. don't really know what to do now. There are no bandits left to kill. In fact, I've killed everyone. Henry will do it. Buffoon. Henry then. Just make sure you keep quiet. Okay, so these two guards are going over here. Let's see if we can take out one of the guys on the portcullis winch. That being detected. 
There's two guys there right now. I'm going to wait for this guy to go back to his post like that. And then we should be able to assassinate this guy without him realising. Quickly assassinate this guy as well. Like so. Okay, so we eliminated the guards at the gate. Is that what I'm meant to do to proceed? Okay, so where's this guy going? We have to find the hostages It'll go first. a lot easier if no one sees us. And fooling around the port. First, we have to find the hostages. Then we can come back and deal with the rest. Okay. Hans is sneaking down here. So they expected you to kill both of those guards, but I just never did it. I was just like, I'm going to solo kill anyone in this car. Everyone. Here. All doors lead to the courtyard. All it takes is for one man to go for a piss and he'll see us. I was just like, I'll solo kill absolutely everyone in this castle without anyone realising. And I did. And then they were like, Wait, nope, now. the game Who's broke. There? Let's not fuck it up at the 11th hour. All right, let's wait until the guard comes. We know their patrols are ready, so. Oh, Hans is, where is Hans going? There's literally going to be a guard coming around this corner any second. What is he doing? I guess Hans knows what he's doing, but there's a guard that literally walks it every time. So why is he not walking here now? Oh my god. Oh my god, what are we doing, Hans? Jesus. Okay, are we hiding here? Oh my god, I'm literally hiding behind Hans. I hope he has a stealth skill of a million. When your stealth Patience. goes over 9,000. has to move. There's a guy right here. <laughs> Any time now. Jesus. Get a fucking move on, man. <laughs> okay, now Hans is moving. The other guard's gone upstairs. So I wonder if I walk ahead of Hans. Can I open this door or not? I can open this door now. And all these peasants. Oh, we can talk to them now. Oh, what? There's a cutscene. We're Sir Radzik and Lady Stephanie. Look. Lady Stephanie? She's not here. She must be held somewhere else. Where? Where is she being held? And where's Sir Ratig? I suppose the lady might be in her chamber. We don't know anything. They herded us here and told us not to move a muscle. Okay, objective completed. Find Sir Ratig and Lady Stephanie. Discuss what to do next with hands. Right. Damn it all. We'll have to go back empty-handed. I really thought we could pull it off. We're not going anywhere. Not without my father and Lady Stephanie. Then how are we meant to find them? They're not in the stables or anywhere nearby. You want to creep right inside the palace where Tot's men are everywhere? Yes, we have to get them out. Retreat, it's a lost cause. No, let's do it. Yes, we can't leave them in Tot's hands. It was hard enough getting this far, but going inside is madness. What good will it do them if we get caught? Then we mustn't get caught. Listen, Hal, I can appreciate your stubbornness, usually. But this could cost us our heads. At least we saved those other people. I'm not going anywhere without my father. Yes, you're right. There's nothing we can do here. Let's say this. I told you, I'm not leaving here without the hostages. If you're determined to be a stubborn ox, go right ahead. I suppose you might as well look for your sword while you're at it. No point leaving the job half done. <laughs> Save your speeches. Are you going to help me or not? If you want to get yourself killed, you can do it alone. But before you go raising bloody mayhem, give us time to get out of here. Okay. Come on then. Let's get the fuck out of here before they catch us. Oh god, he's got... Oh! 
Gorova. Fuck my ass. Booty shot. <laughs> Get out of the castle with cape on. Oh, fuck. I'll have to carry him out of here right now. He's just fucking on the floor. You can see the arrow pointing out of his butt cheeks. Run, 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 run. Luckily, we actually have guards this time helping us. My arse is killing me. Quick! They're right behind us. That is behind you. What? I can't do anything. Faster! I'm trying hard, you heavy bastard. If you don't get a move on, they'll stab you in the back right under my nose. I don't want to get stabbed in my ass too. Run for Christ's sake and don't shake me so much. This guy's still chilling out like nothing happened. Oh, oh my god! I'm pretty sure that peasant just committed suicide by jumping off the wall. Oh dear. I have to admit, we didn't do too well. True. The shame of it. They drove us back before we even got anywhere. It's worse than if they'd killed us. Well, I wouldn't go that far. We had to give it a try. If we succeeded. <laughs> If pigs had wings, I know it troubles you, but it's not over yet. We'll rescue the hostages and hang that bastard Ishban. Night raid quest completed. Great, we did it. What is the next quest then? Started siege. That was an absolute mission to record. You know, I've been playing this game for probably about 40 hours or so now in total, and I've never come across a quest that was that buggy. And I think it was all because I skipped the first objective and I thought I'm going to do this my way. And the way the game was like scripted to work didn't understand that I was doing it that way. So I've reported the bug to Warhorse and hopefully they'll fix it. But I literally spent all day recording this and uh, there are lots, lots of little bits I like cut out. So it sort of like made sense. But I tried to do this quest and kill everyone. It's actually impossible to save Lady Stephanie and Sir Radzik, sadly. I guess this is one of the really good points and really bad points about having a story that is narratively driven. Because when you're playing a roleplay game, you want to be able to make your own decisions in a certain way, but sometimes the game focuses so much on wanting to tell the story in a certain way that it doesn't allow you to roleplay. And in this regard, I mean, if you are really good and you know, why is it not possible to actually save Sir Radzig and Lady Stephanie? But obviously, I guess there's certain cutscenes and stuff that happen later in the story that, you know, you have to fail the mission because it's to do with the story. But the way it was, was kind of like there was just a locked door that was impossible to get through because it couldn't even be locked picked. And I felt kind of cheated in a way because I had killed all the guys in the castle. And that's one of those things. I think with Skyrim, at least you could do whatever you wanted. But at the same time, I never really cared that much about the main story like I do in Kingdom Come Deliverance, where I'm really engaged and I think the story is super interesting. But it's up to the point where it actually removes some of those roleplay aspects from the game. But I think it's a very interesting point for discussion. I think it's really a balancing act and sometimes Warhorse definitely get it right and sometimes they don't. And with this quest, I guess it will make sense later why it was done this way. But at the same time, it kind of, it was a bit annoying for me. But uh, thanks very much for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this one in the comments below. Sorry it took me so long to get this episode out to you. Uh, and have a fantastic day. I'll see you in the next video. I'll link it down below in the description. Thanks for watching, guys. Goodbye.